All right, guys. This is thrilling. Okay, let's stop sharing. When it comes back on, we'll get back to it. Woo. I am like shaking. I am so excited. I am so excited. Um, all right, good morning, everyone. I'm Lauren Cadillac, AKA OG Cadillac, AKA Mother of the Decade. When my daughter wakes up, I'm going to go off screen and go tell her happy birthday stuff. So I just, I can't go through this right now without, I mean, oh my God, I am. I feel like it's my own case, you know, like I am so tied to this case that this is incredible. This is, this is what we've been asking for all along, really. <laughs> uh, when Whitaker yesterday, so I, I don't know, there's so much that could happen this morning. Um, hey, Nene, hey, K-Way, hey, Hibista, good morning, DJ, dead homie, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. Okay, so, um, hi, Emily, I am too. Okay, so yesterday afternoon, as you all recall, the state left a sheet of paper in front of the witness, was asking the witness to read off of said paper, even asked the witness to read the hashtags. Then the witness read the hashtags, one of which said, Freakway. This is not the first time this bad character evidence has come in. We've seen the state accidentally get this type of evidence in left and right. Okay. When, when they were in front of Glanville, they could get away with this. All right. When they were in front of Glanville, he didn't, I don't know why, but he didn't care or he like went along with their games, which is crazy. But now they are with, um, they are with Whitaker and she's still helping them, but she's not having the shenanigans that Glanville has allowed. Okay. If that makes sense to everyone. Um, so they say thug can't be retrieved after 12 because the state would have to have jury seated by December or they couldn't retry him. Do you think that is why they are starting late? Uh, no, I think, I believe they are starting late because Whitaker realized what was on her hands and she wanted, um, a oh, while wow, long crime is saying the camera's not being allowed in. That's crazy. Okay, so the so the state asked him to read the hashtags, and then the hashtag said free Quay. Yeah, I see it. We have I have it on Emily because as soon as they go live, we're gonna go live with it. I have it on my phone too, so I've got it in like three places. Um, but we'll see what happens here. This is very interesting. So, okay. These little sneaky games that Love and Hilton like to play. Glanville had no problem with that. But the uh, Whitaker has not liked that at all. So, yesterday, he reads hashtag Freakway, which can be considered... Two of the defendants go by Quay, or Qua, as Whitaker says. So that could be considered bad character evidence about both of those defendants or either of those defendants. And if you recall, the Harvey rule applies. So that means that each one of those defendants is in on this motion. So first, uh, Harvey's cohort, I think her name, it's not Miss Washington, but I don't, uh, Worthington, 
it starts with a W, I think. Um, she calls for the mistrial. Then Carrington Matthews joins in for Huey because Quay is a, a nickname Huey uses. So he joins in on the mistrial. Then Westmoreland, thank you, Miss Westmoreland asserted the mistrial. And then Whitaker said, she did not believe that the state goaded them into calling for mistrial. So what that means is Whitaker did not believe that the state made this mistake on purpose. But as I recall, Hilton asked him specifically to read the hashtag. So that is purposeful. Okay, so Whitaker says then, um, I will give you a mistrial, but I do not believe that the prosecution's conduct was willful, and so I will not do it with prejudice. Okay, so what's that mean? <laughs> My poor daughter, her birthday's today, and we had to tell her all about this yesterday, and so now she knows what reacting and what, what prejudice means, and poor baby. Okay, so with prejudice means that the facts and laws and the incidents in that case can never be tried again. Without prejudice allows whoever it is to retry those facts in that case again. So. Recently, I was in court because someone under the code would be dismissed from my case, but I wanted it without prejudice because I want to leave available a defendant for my plaintiff if I, the need arises. And they wanted it with prejudice because they don't want me to be able to go back and, you know, go after this person that I originally went after. So we had a whole hearing on whether or not, you know, we agree they'll be dismissed, but should it be with or without prejudice? So like a 15 minute hearing, maybe 20. So the prejudice with or without prejudice is really important because it determines whether or not you're going to be back in court on that same case again. With prejudice, like um, where we saw with prejudice was in the Alec Baldwin case. And that judge did it with prejudice. And uh, that means that they can't charge Alec again. So that's why the ideal is to have a dismissal with prejudice. Absolutely. However, uh, that wasn't being offered last night. Okay, so I think this is all speculation, but I think Whitaker probably wanted this morning to go back and review the record so that they can come back and talk about it today and determine if they want to do or if, you know if it's a mistrial with or without prejudice so i don't know what they're talking about i mean it's crazy uh it, DJ Dead Homie, I have to say, Miss D. Williams is a public defender and she was fire this week. <laughs> oh my God. So she got that little girl to admit that she was lying left and right. She got the little girl to admit that she went, the little girl went along with whatever the detective said. She got the little girl to admit that the little girl was 20 years old and the little boys were 15 and 16. And they were having a little hanky panky. So she did great. I've been saying about Doug Weinstein this whole time. The guy is really quiet. Like he does not talk a lot, but when he speaks, it's impactful. And I feel the same about Miss D Williams. Like she doesn't interject a whole lot. She leaves the heavy work to the boys, which is smart. That's, probably what I would do. And then when she gets up, 
I was reminded by the internet in her opening, she told the jury to grab some popcorn <laughs> because she's here for, uh, what do they say? She's, you know, strap in because you're here for the uh, circus. Okay. So she did, she's, she's, I'm pretty impressed. I would let her defend me. I would. She did great. Um, okay. So let me, I'm just going to, we'll just chat while we wait. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm like shaking. I've been waiting around for my daughter to wake up because it's her birthday and she's asleep still. I get no love. Okay. Let's see. So nervous. So nervous. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. It's afternoon for some of y'all. Okay, I'm checking uh, Thugger Daily to see if there's any updates on uh, what used to be called Twitter. Okay, so it's my understanding that after this incident, there were meetings with Love and Fawny and defense attorneys. And according to Thugger Daily, some of those meetings were individual meetings. So we might see some plea deals worked out here. I don't know. If I was thug, I'd feel like I'll plea that you give me my money back, <laughs> but <laughs> that's never going to happen. So, um, okay, let's see. Hi, Tortamon. Good to see you. I don't know why this hearing is secret right now. I'm not sure why the cameras aren't live. I'm, I have no idea. I kind of wonder if it's because they're about to declare a mistrial and Whitaker doesn't want to embarrass the state. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know why they're so secretive with everything, Torta. I tend to believe that if they were doing it correctly or it was a just, it was like fair, so to speak, they wouldn't be hiding it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Miss Miss Moreland was the one who asked for the mistrial yesterday. She asserted that she would take the mistrial even without prejudice. And I feel for me, now I don't know everything they know, right? I only know what we've seen. But I feel that I too would want the mistrial with prejudice, without prejudice, sorry. And let me tell you why. Hear me out, okay? Mm -hmm. We take the mistrial without prejudice. Thug has the speedy trial. You're trying us all together. Harvey rule applies, so now I get the speedy trial, right? This is my argument. Even if I don't have the speedy trial and then you know time limits and those things come into play, there is no, not one single not even a smidge, just not even a scintilla of doubt in my mind that the state will ruin that trial too. I will take my bets in front of a new judge, maybe a judge who has heard about what a mess this is and will want to make sure that it moves and will want to make sure they apply the law to the facts. But, you know, I, also at this point, they could argue there's no way they're going to get a fair trial in uh, Fulton County. I think that is a perfectly legitimate argument for a trial that has lasted well over two years. I am sure you could not live in Fulton County and not hear about this trial all the time. So I believe that they would have a great argument to move to a different county, like a Cobb County or whatever. And guess what they're going to get in a different county? a different judge. And if they can get to a more conservative county, they'll get to a judge who will apply the law to the facts and won't play with no BS. I kind of want to take the, the mistrial with or without prejudice. Kind of want this nightmare to end. And potentially, if they get moved to a different county, oh, here we go, here we go. No, what just happened? Long crime just like blacked out and switched to Sarah Boone. What is going on? What just happened? Oh my goodness. The long crime stream says court has ended for today. 
What? What? Oh my God. What just happened? Why would court end? This is crazy. Okay, so we're brazy, so to speak. This is brazy. Okay. All right, so back to would I take the mistrial? I'm taking the mistrial. I am. I know that these prosecutors are incompetent. (laughs) I've been watching them. I'm going to, I would, I would try my odds. I would. Uh, I, well, I would have to talk to my client and, you know, have them weigh that out. But, um, let's see. Do you think they'll retry the case if they miss trial? I don't know. I think they kind of have to retry at least parts of the case because Fonnie Willis like ran on this anti-gang stuff. And it will be an incredible embarrassment to her and her office if they don't like at least follow through. Um, let's see. We all knew the state was going to mess up. Paige was right. The state is sloppy. They've been sloppy. We know. I've been saying from the very beginning that we get what we pay for. And in America, we don't be paying taxes. We don't like to pay taxes. Okay. Um, the state wastes so much money. I know. And Nene, you're there. You're in Fulton County. So you, I'd be pissed if I was you. Hello, forever young. Um, Nene says, I want to be a public defender like her. I want to fight for what's right. I'm with you, girl. I'm with you. Hey, this girl. Oh, thank you, Torta Mom, for the birthday wishes. Thank you, Nene. I appreciate it, guys. Um, okay, so tomorrow we will reconvene at 10 a.m. as per usual. Will court reconvene? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking um, that what's going on is they're not having, my guess is they're not having any more trial today because there's being something worked out um, in the background with Fani to help her save face. I hope Ms. Love gets fired after this. The, the bar grievance that she should have to deal with after this. Uh, in fact, we just, our Texas Bar Journal talks about people who are disbarred. Belinda and I should like read that out loud on a live sometime. It's very interesting. And we saw the same thing. Some Texas lawyers were um, penalized because they were behaving just like Miss Love over in a federal court in D.C. So ridiculous. I hope they are penalized uh, by the Georgia Bar. Well, thanks for everyone who hopped on with me right now. Thanks for the birthday wishes for my daughter. I'm going to go like see if she's up yet. I don't know. Hey, Ana, good to see you. Um, Go celebrate her birthday with her. And then I will see y'all tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central. If court is going on, we'll watch it together live. I mean, this is amazing and fascinating. I've never (laughs) seen anything like this. It's crazy. It is crazy. If y'all have been watching the Sarah Boone trial, uh, well, if not, just go to my videos, go to the my page and click on videos. I've been covering that case. That trial is five days in and the state is putting on the rebuttal gaze. So like, I'm thinking they'll be doing closing arguments on day six. That's how trials are supposed to work. <laughs> so go check that out if you're interested in seeing like how a trial should move efficiently. I recap the Sarah Boone trial every Wednesday. Um, hopefully I'll go live during their closing unless it's tomorrow because tomorrow we'll be doing this. So, so I see you all live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Thank you.